Remember when one terabyte of storage was a big deal? Yeah, not anymore. With almost every single new game launching at over 100 gigabytes, your Legion Go will fill up in an instant. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to upgrade your storage on your Legion Go. Now, the Legion Go comes standard with the smaller M.2 2242 SSD drive. However, for this video, I'll be using the much larger 2280 SSD using an adapter and a small modification. Regardless of which direction you end up going with, the process is pretty much the same. So let's jump right in. Here's everything you will need. I've linked it all in the description below. First is a screwdriver or any tech kit that has multiple bits. You'll also need a small pry tool or a pick, the SSD adapter if you plan on using the larger NVMe drives, and lastly, your SSD. Now, I will not be cloning my old SSD. I like to start fresh, but more importantly, I will be dual booting SteamOS and Windows 11. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. The video should be up in the next few days. To get started, you'll want to completely shut down your Legion Go. Go ahead and flip your Legion Go over and make sure to detach your controllers just to make things easier on yourself. Now, to do so, you just want to click the small button on the bottom right of the controller and just slide it off. Once they're detached, go ahead and place your Legion Go on a flat surface. If you can, place a microfiber cloth under the Legion Go just to avoid scratching on the screen and from the device moving around. Now you should see six tiny screws on the back of the Go. Go ahead and grab a Phillips head. I believe it's a number zero or number one. Make sure to use some quality ones so you don't strip the screws. I linked the whole kit down below. Do yourself a favor. If you don't have one already, make sure to pick one up. It just makes life easier. Once you get them all off, make sure to put them somewhere safe so you can't lose them, like a magnetic mat or a bowl or something. Go ahead and grab your pick or pry tool and start prying out the back of the device very carefully. It is easiest to do it from like the top corners, but it also might be helpful to lift the kickstand up a little bit. Oh, and be careful not to turn on your device. And if you do, just make sure to hold the power button down until it shuts down again. Once you get the back plate off, you should see the inside of your Legion go. Now, it may be pretty dusty in there, so make sure to give it a good clean and just blow off some of the dust. Now, we'll be mainly focusing on the bottom right hand side of the device. And as you can see, the SSD is the tiny thing racked up on the bottom right hand corner held by one screw. Now, before doing anything, it is very important to disconnect the battery. So let's do that first. Go ahead and peel off that little adhesive on top of the SSD. Then right on top of the power cable, there should be another small piece of adhesive and make sure to remove it as well. Go ahead and unplug the power cable. Make sure to go slow and be very careful while prying it out. You might find it easier to do so with your fingers rather than a pry tool. Once you wiggle it free, go ahead and push it to the side, away from the SSD, so we can get some space to work. Now, you should see a little screw holding in the SSD together. Go ahead and grab your screwdriver using the same bit we used earlier, and remove the screw. Make sure not to lose it, as we will be using it very shortly and it is very important. Now, it's time to remove the SSD, which is in a very awkward spot, so just slowly wiggle it out. It might be even easier to slightly lift it up but be very careful as it's very delicate. Once it's out, if you have one of the smaller 2242 drives, it's as simple as just plugging it back in. But if you have the larger drive like me, go ahead and grab your adapter and plug it in. Grab that small screw we just took out and screw in the adapter. Now we can plug our drive in. Go ahead and plug it right into the adapter. Once it's secured, we can go ahead and plug the battery back in. Make sure to push the power cable all the way in. Then, go ahead and cover the cable with the adhesive and make sure to put that little small piece of adhesive right over the power cable. If you install the smaller drive, you can go ahead and close it back up and you should be good to go. However, since we installed the bigger drive, we need to make a very small adjustment to the back plate. There's these two little things that stick out in the corner of the back plate that need to be trimmed down or removed. They should be right over here. I went ahead and trimmed them using a small Dremel, but you can use a knife or something to just pry them out.
Once that's done, you can go ahead and start reassembling the device. Go ahead and close the back plate over and start screwing all six screws back in. And there you have it, you've successfully upgraded your storage on your Legion Go. However, there's nothing installed on it yet. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to dual boot SteamOS and Windows 11 so you can really extract the most out of your Legion Go. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you can get notified as soon as the video is out. It should be out in the next few days. Let me know in the comments below what games you've been playing on your Legion Go. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more.